building in there yet. But Rhea Rannon is a Cooper City course. woman who was diagnosed with breast cancer in March. I am from Philippines originally, but I live in Guam. I just checked myself that I have something on my breast, and I just found it just a little bit. And then I just waited for like a month, and I thought it's going to be gone. But after we, after another month, it's getting big. And then I went to the doctor and checked on it. At first, I'm not that scared, but I'm nervous. Because I don't know what's going to happen. And then um, I don't know what's going to feel, or I don't know what's the process. But when I found out the process, everything is sync on me. That's it's scary. And I was so <laughs> Just recently, she had the opportunity to have a mastectomy, but she didn't do it alone. Uh, this experience changed me in quite a way. Uh, first, I didn't know how many people actually have been through this experience. Uh, I guess no one really knows until they experienced it. Free, like overnight, you make. Thanks to the love and the support of our hometown, Rhea and her partner Joseph were able to raise money and fundraise for the surgery. Oh, wow. so uh, I have friends in the community that said we should do a fundraiser as soon as possible. And I said I'll pay until I can't pay anymore, which happened. And then we could no longer pay. So I started the fundraiser initially. And I really didn't expect as much support as we received. Uh, and that was from just from the community itself, which I was very surprised. While still on her journey of fighting and overcoming cancer, Rhea is recovering from her recent surgery and feeling well, happier and healthier by the days. So yeah. close enough where she can walk. I feel better. I mean, I got just surgery, but I feel good. I mean, I can do stuff that I wanted to do. First chemo. For CTV News, this has been Kayla Kissel.